Hey guys, James saying. So today we're going to take a look at the Rode Wireless Go 2 and show that you can use it in conjunction with your Rode Procaster. All right, so where, how we are recording right now, I'm on the Rode Wireless Go and I'm connected. You don't have to use a lav mic, which I am. Um, and additionally, I'm using the Rode Wireless Go as a standalone recorder. So this is my backup, my primary recorder to the, the micro SD card on the Rode Procaster. This is my backup recording. I'll show you how that's done as well. Let's take a quick look with some GoPro footage. We are connected here on the receiver is connected. The Rode VXLR uh, Plus that we're connected to through the TRS cable. It's the cable that has two black lines. And I'm recording in multi-track. So I'll also show you how to set up multi-track recording. We're going to switch to the XR, XLR connector, the VXLR Pro. And the reason I use the ones from Rode, because some of the cheaper uh, XLR connectors, they don't block out the noise. You get this hum or the signal interference. These are higher quality XLR connectors that help mitigate any uh, line interference. So we're going to do one long continuous recording. So I'm going to disconnect from the this is the VXLR Plus, and I'm on channel one. And now we switched over to the XLR connector two. This is the uh, VXLR Pro. So again, doing one long continuous recording, switching as I switch back and forth. So this is on X, uh, an XL, XLR connector. Uh, showing that you can use either of the Rode um, XLR connector. Maybe there may be other XLR connectors that you can use. I don't know. There probably are, and there's probably some that don't work so well. And then we're also going to connect to the back um, on the mobile phone uh, icon connection with the, directly with the TR TRS cable. So now we have been recording on channel 2, and we're going to switch over. To this mobile icon. This mobile icon connector here, now we're recording on this channel here. So now still one long continuous recording. This again is my backup recording. My primary recording will be to the micro SD card on the road. Uh, on the Rode Procaster. It's always good to have two sources of audio. Um, additionally, as when I download the um, audio, not from the Rode Procaster, but when I download the audio from the Rode Wireless Go 2, I'll show you the settings to choose so this acts as a standalone record. So basically, when you turn it on, it immediately starts recording to this actual device here. Uh, can really can really save your bacon if something if you forgot to hit the record button if your mic had if whatever if you have any other problems where you lose some of your audio the cards corrupt whatever you need to have more than one uh, audio recording so we're going to connect the road receiver to the computer through a USB cable. And then when we turn this on. Okay, so we have to open up. It doesn't automatically pop up. All right. So let's open up Road Central. And it's recognizing my uh, receiver. And it has all these different recordings. But what we're going to do is close that out. You want to make sure under Settings, which I click on this gear icon, Record always is on. You can have other choices. Like I could use it as a backup. I don't want to use it as a backup. I want it to always be, or it can be off, but I'm going to have it always on. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to transfer all these recording one, two, three, four, five over to my computer. 
All right. So that's how you have your receive. I mean, how you have your transmitter set up that it is a backup recorder that it's always recording when you turn it on. All right. So we want to record on multi-track so that we can record whatever input we want individually back here. So we'll go to settings. Am I recording? Yes. Go to settings, advanced, audio, multi-track. In turn, I want to record to the SD card. And we'll turn on USB. All right, so now we're set up to record to individual tracks, whether we're recording to XLR connector one, two, three, or four, whether we're connected to the cell phone, however it is we are connected. All right, guys, thanks so much. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. It would help my channel. And if you found the information helpful or useful, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do, remember to turn on notifications so that you don't miss when the next video comes out. All right, guys, thanks so much. We'll see you in the next video.